So now we're moving on to the master plan here. Sure. Gary was going to give you 37 minutes and we're going to do it in six. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we just want to give you an uh, update where things are. We're uh, all done with our classroom uh, mock-ups, and they're uh, now in, in full utilization, and they've been very popular uh, with faculty. Uh, uh, and there's just a few pictures of people using. Um, if you haven't uh, been uh, uh, towards the west of the campus, this is what, the, uh, what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. So that finished uh, in time for the start of the semester. Uh, the atrium renovation, if you haven't gotten a chance to go downstairs, as uh, you go downstairs, uh, make a left as your uh, way out, this is the way that the atrium uh, looked. Uh, I think it may have looked for 40 years, uh, maybe uh, uh, when some of uh, us were uh, going to college here. Uh, and this is the way that it uh, looks today. It looks uh, really great. Uh, people, we've gotten very good feedback from it, and uh, it became instantly popular. Uh, it is packed, there is hardly ever uh, a seat available. So uh, it served its purpose uh, to provide a, a great space uh, for the students. Uh, the week of professional development week, we opened up the auto body renovation. And just to orient you, here's a campus map, map of Grace Lake. Uh, building 12 uh, uh, is where we had our storage building. And uh, for uh, those of you uh, who are a student, you know that we once had our auto body program in there at one time, and uh, this is what the storage building looked like. Uh, that's the best it ever looked. Uh, uh, this is getting ready for construction, and this is what it looks like uh, today. Uh, it's a big, beautiful space. Uh, we have uh, uh, state of the art paint booths uh, that our auto body uh, students uh, can use now. Uh, there are three new classrooms uh, that are fitted out for the purposes uh, of, of this program, as well can be used for general purposes. Uh, and we were even able to fit in a mezzanine above uh, the classrooms that will allow for the first time uh, the auto body program to have all of their uh, items stored in one place. Looks like you're going into a service area <coughs> of some big yeah. auto you, store. They do have a drive-in and a drive-out as yeah. well as uh, a welding here back, back, back here on campus. Those are terrazzo uh, floors? No, no, not no. no. great. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Oh yeah, it's <laughs> where they like the, 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 the epoxy, epoxy paint. Epoxy. Yeah. Create epoxy paint. Uh, wanted to let you know we're trying to stop saying cafeteria and say cafe uh, uh, going forward. Uh, as you recall, uh, this is the design that we approved. We just have a few more uh, uh, pictures that we're going to talk to you about. Uh, but I, I wanted to talk to you about some uh, revisions. So uh, this was is where the cafe was. Uh, uh, we have decided, uh, uh, due to both uh, um, uh, where we want the f future of the bookstore as uh, well as a good cost-saving idea, uh, to downsize the bookstore and uh, move it back uh, into this space and leave this lecture hall area alone. Uh, and if you recall, this is student activities used to be on this side. We have now flipped student activities uh, to be on this side. So, uh, 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 well, it, you're not going to see much difference when I show you the renderings. Uh, uh, functionally, uh, uh, we did make that change. <coughs> well, uh, uh, we are yes. going to explore different models. Uh, uh, we do have the ability to go Amazon Light, uh, uh, but uh, we really want to talk to the college community about, about that going forward. So that's a close-up of what that looks like. Uh, one of the be great benefits that happened with this, well, the uh, student activity area got a little bit tighter. It allowed for us to have a, a big multi-purpose space uh, for the students to use, which uh, uh, which uh, they can need. So overall, the student activity space is more than quadrupled um, uh, as a part of this. Uh, this is a picture, uh, our first uh, little uh, peek of what the inside <coughs> of the cafe, uh, cafe uh, might look like. Uh, and there it is from uh, from a different angle. And that is going to start in June of 2015, so uh, coming uh, right up on our heels. So that's uh, the center of campus. This is as you walk in the front door. You probably uh, came to the right or left uh, uh, when you uh, came in. Uh, this is what that view is going to look like. Uh, notice that the stairwell uh, is missing uh, and it's moved off to the side. Uh, you're going to have a nice big open feeling when you come into the campus rather than looking uh, at the stairwell. Uh, this is uh, a view from the second floor uh, 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 when you come right outside of the boardroom, and uh, that's what that space is going to look like. And it's going to have a nice clear uh, uh, railing there. Uh, and here's that angle from the side, and I wanted to point this out because as you can see, we have our, our step-down uh, living room. 
Uh, this is what that exact same angle is going to look like. This was a, a very creative way to make the college look like a much bigger open space without actually moving any walls. Uh, by moving that stairwell, infilling that, uh, that uh, smaller part, and, and just opening up the space. And then this is looking out towards uh, the front, and uh, that's where you can see that uh, this will be an electronic monitor, uh, still have some sort of information desk there, and student activities will be back uh, back here. Okay, now this is, uh, we talked about student enrollment and registering, and, and what is that process like? Uh, uh, well, this is what it looks like uh, to people when you uh, walk down there. Uh, this is what it's going to look like now. So uh, you see we've uh, pretty much taken the same concept before. We're taking the walls down. Uh, we are uh, going to be moving towards, a, uh, as uh, Rich and Karen have said many times, a one-stop shop. So where you may have, uh, I've boiled it down to where you have seen three lines before for admissions, for counseling, and for financial aid. There'll be one line now uh, uh, for people to go there. And as my assistant, uh, Cindy, said, uh, she asked if you could buy an airplane ticket there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is just another angle. Uh, this will be coming out of uh, what is now the existing main lobby, uh, so it'll all be one big wide open space. Uh, now, uh, to talk about the migration plan, we're calling it the Great Migration here at the college because, as you all know, I just showed you a bunch of spaces that, uh, that students and faculty and staff are all living in uh, sometimes 10, 12, 15 hours a day. So how is this going uh, to work and uh, who is going where? Uh, uh, while we don't have every specific person in every specific room down, we're uh, closing in, but it's time to let you know what's going to happen. First thing to move will be international education out of uh, the first floor of B-Wing, uh, and that is going to go uh, to the job center that's up there at the top. Uh, so that's going to happen uh, right away starting uh, in June. Uh, also in June, we're going to be closing down the center uh, of the campus and starting to build uh, the cafeteria. Uh, we will at times be able to traverse in between the two buildings. Sometimes we're going to have to have students, faculty, and staff go outside of the buildings. Uh, as we move into the December of this year, this is when things start getting uh, really serious, if you didn't think they were before. Uh, we are going uh, uh, to start uh, uh, having to shut down half of B building. That's the first floor and the second floor. So what you're seeing there uh, is uh, that side. Uh, we are planning on moving all of student activities over to e-building. Uh, the nice thing is, uh, uh, maybe for the first time in a long time, they'll all be in one place. They'll all be a lot uh, uh, cozier and, and, and better friends, too, right, Karen? Um, uh, but we also, you're going to start seeing, this is where uh, we are going to, uh, the uh, class schedule is going to be more greatly affected uh, because we are going to have to use some classrooms uh, in T building and in other places uh, to be able to place uh, uh, administrators temporarily. This is uh, the grand scheme. Uh, we haven't filled every nook and cranny uh, at the college to avoid that, so uh, we do want to avoid uh, taking any classrooms offline to do this. Uh, uh, going into a, a, a year from June uh, is when we will go uh, do the uh, second half of B building. Uh, and as you can see again, uh, uh, we will also be starting to build out police in the job center. Uh, we'll be using the job center again uh, for what's there uh, as well. Uh, uh, Rich's staff has been very helpful with us in looking at it. So we've got over 90% of the classes uh, uh, can be uh, moved, and, and that's without changing any times. Uh, so, uh, so we're feeling very good and not using uh, um, additional spaces at Lakeshore, South Lake, or uh, University Center. So uh, we're, we're feeling very good that we're going to be able uh, to do this. Phase four starts uh, uh, six months later, uh, right after uh, that. Uh, and uh, uh, this is the one piece that we're still a li little hesitant about. Uh, we think we can bring all of A building down at once, uh, but we've got to make sure uh, that we can. Uh, there are uh, at least three programs, and we sure, we're sure that we'll, we will find more uh, uh, radiology, uh, geology, uh, and uh, physics that we're going to have uh, issues with. How do we relocate them uh, while we're doing this? Uh, a particular concern is radiology. They are right on the main chases. Uh, they, they cannot uh, operate uh, while we redo B building. Uh, so we've communicated that uh, to the dean and to the faculty, uh, and we're working on a, on a solution for that. But uh, that'll be a nine month period uh, that that will occur. So that's. You can see uh, uh, if you do that, uh, uh, we would have to spread a lot of people out in a lot of different places. And that's the migration. 
Any questions about that? That's, that's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of fun for the next three. We years. we've been saying to people that uh, uh, you know it's going to be a challenge for all of us. Is that uh, college? Uh, finish up very quickly. Uh, the, also, uh, not to leave off any side of campus, on the very west side of campus, we're going to be ripping up uh, uh, the geothermal field. Uh, all of the uh, well bores are going to go in. Uh, uh, that The pumps and everything will go underneath the cafeteria, and that's where we're going to have the future expansion if we ever get uh, additional money uh, to uh, redo the rest of the HVAC. Uh, we are on schedule uh, to break ground uh, late March. Uh, 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 as long as we get our last final approval from Vernon Hills, uh, which has been going very well, uh, by the way, uh, at the South Lake Chemistry Lab edition. And the science building, as you've heard, uh, uh, that has been released. The pre-construction meeting is getting scheduled, uh, uh, hopefully, as we speak. Uh, we are telling everyone last week of March, uh, beginning of April, you're going to start seeing activity uh, that we have got to uh, get the parking lot. Uh, uh, you, uh, we've been telling everyone and telling everyone, but uh, I'm sure I will still have people drive up that day and say, nobody told me that the parking lot was going to be closed. <laughs> we are closing the front half of the parking lot of parking lot seven uh, uh, to be the construction lay down, uh, and uh, it, it is going to impact uh, faculty and staff parking. Okay, and there's a, a Lakeshore, the last thing uh, to leave you up with. Uh, uh, we are uh, just doing remarkably well. We have stayed on time. Uh, we are having a wonderful relationship with the city. We had a unanimous approval from the zoning board for all of our uh, variances uh, that we've requested. Uh, uh, Dr. Weber and I will be meeting uh, with the Waukegan Economic Development Board uh, tomorrow morning for their approval. Next Monday, it goes to the City Council Judiciary Committee uh, for their consideration. The following Monday after that, the City Council uh, as a whole uh, will vote on this project. We will meet our schematic uh, design date, uh, uh, given that there's no problems there, and it will be uh, submitted uh, to uh, the city now, or to the state. Now, we have asked the state, uh, is this project uh, uh, in jeopardy? What do you think? Uh, they have uh, indicated to us that uh, they have uh, a lot of projects all over the state. Uh, they have a lot that are in trouble, uh, in trouble in terms of getting approvals, uh, getting decisions made, uh, others uh, that, uh, that are uh, shovel ready. Uh, they have uh, told me that there's no guarantee, but uh, we are in much better shape than many of the projects in the state because we're in the shape that we are today. That doesn't mean anything, really, uh, until we get, our, get it released, uh, but we are going to meet all of our deadlines and, uh, and our online budget. Has the new governor made an appointment for the uh, administration of the CDB? Uh, he has not. Uh, however, I, uh, I just heard today that uh, there were uh, a number of uh, individuals that were asked to leave today. Uh, but uh, the new director, or the existing director, has not uh, heard, uh, heard that. Uh, and then finally, I wanted to make sure that you uh, saw uh, uh, where everything ended up landing on this building. Here's where the new daycare we said we would get out of the middle of the street. Uh, we have testing on this lower floor. All of this is a one-stop enrollment shop, just like Grays Lake will have now. Uh, the library with a two-story in front will go all the way across uh, the alley, uh, including a tutoring center. Uh, the uh, fourth floor will include all of the adult education and support services for them. The fifth floor is all of the medical programs we were able to consolidate in one place. And the top floor, uh, we were able to still keep those three classrooms that collapsed and are able uh, to be uh, opened up into a community room. We'll, we'll have a minimum of about at least 300 people uh, uh, to have events there. And it will probably be the biggest event space uh, in Waukegan. And that's it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Thank you. And if there aren't any questions, uh, we can...